Hey everybody, um, it's Dan. It is 13 months on testosterone, so a year and one month. And it is June, July, August. Three months post-op. Three people, three months. Wow, okay. So, um, T changes. Um, I have a lot more facial hair. I don't know if you can see it from there, but I'll get close. Um, so I can grow this here, and I've done this, like, chin strap thing, look at all that, and then this way. Pretty much all the way connects, it's just really light here and here. Um, this is trimmed down quite a bit. I can grow on the cheek on both sides, and I have a little bit of a soul patch starting to come in. Still the same crappy mustache, I can't. I can't grow a decent mustache worth the life of me, but, I mean, mustaches alone, in my opinion, unless you're the right fellow, are just kind of kind of creepy, so, um, I'm not too sad about it, but it would be nice to have, like, the full thing growing. But this is so awesome. I don't think a lot of men, after a year on T, usually can grow as much facial hair as I have. I mean, this is pretty pretty quick. So, we'll see what it looks like in two years. Um, I, I bet I'll be pretty set. <laughs> okay, um, I have my Adam's apple. It hasn't really changed that much. It's there, but, I mean, my dad's isn't very prominent either. I think it's pretty much where it's going to be. My voice, um, I don't think it's dropped very much anymore. I mean, it might have. You can check my other videos and compare, but, um, I really don't think it's changed that much. Um, muscle mass, I have started to work out because I gave it, I think you can work out after six weeks after surgery with Garamoni, but I gave it some more time just because my job is so physical, I was already pushing it from the moment I got medically cleared to work again. So I just started working out again. I've been doing this 100 push-ups challenge and 200 sit-ups challenge, and I've been running or doing the elliptical or biking every day because I don't have a gym membership yet. But um, soon I'll be working out really good. I was blessed with a really good upper body without working out. So this is it for right now. My muscles... And then my chest looks really good. So, um, that's what everyone wants to see. Who am I kidding? Who cares about what this crazy guy is talking about, right? I want to just see the chest. So, this is the chest. Three months post-op. Charles Garamoni, Sunrise, Florida. Okay. The man is wonderful. He's, like, so good. I can't even explain to you how happy I am. The only thing is, this nipple is different than this nipple. Um, I've been massaging this one, trying to get it to be more like this one, but I just don't think it will. Um, we'll see with time if I want to have a revision on it, but I don't really think I need to. From far away, you can't even tell. And they would probably have to cut this one down to make it more like that, and I just I don't know if I want to do that yet. So I'll give it some time. Um, so yeah, um, I'll flex. That's that from the side. And unflexed and the scar. It's already starting to fade up here really good. Um, the scars are looking great. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean here. So that's it, straight on. This side looks like this, really close. Not a lot of guys do these really close-ups like I do. I think they're good. And then this side. You see, this one's just, it doesn't have as much projection. And it's a little lumpy around the outsides, but massage, it works. This one sticks out more, and no bumpy things on the side. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a lot more hair on my body. Um... Pretty much just hair. I've noticed I haven't noticed any mood things uh, be different. Um, my mood's pretty much the same. My emotions are the same. I noticed that beginning of transitioning, I was more sensitive to um, when 
the beginning of my cycle or my t testosterone cycle. I take it every two weeks, and I'm on 200 milligrams per milliliter, um, one milliliter, so 200 milligrams every two weeks. Um, before, I used to notice that I could feel like a burst of energy whenever I got my shot. Uh, now I don't really feel that so much. Um, at the end of the cycle, I would feel a little bit more lethargic, a little bit more uh, bogged down, slower. Um, I don't really feel that as much. It feels like my body is getting, uh, you know, a, t a tolerance for the testosterone or maybe like building up a level that's normal. And then the shots just maintain that level. Um, so we'll see. I do have an endocrinologist appointment October 1st, or not maybe 1st, but the, within the first week of October. So um, I'll let you know on the next video what's going on with my levels. Um, historically, this whole first year, um, I've been low. Now, the first part of my testosterone, I started with a, a, low, a lower dose so that I could preserve my singing voice, which I have. Um, so I started off slower than most guys do. So probably now I'm I'm probably like nine or ten months on T, like as far as levels go. Um, but even even after then, my levels have been lower, and so I've been on this higher dose for a while, and I had that bolus month of 200 milligrams per week, which was a lot. So hopefully I'll be in you know six seven hundred range, closer to where I'm supposed to be for my age. And we can keep it up in there. Um, that's pretty much all I have. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, yeah. Happy August. Peace out. Enjoy September.